LaToya here. Welcome to my crafty space. It is another day for me to share one of my Valentine's Day car projects with you guys. So without further ado, here's my next project. Again, in purple, that's what we're using. I can't find pink, like I said, and I'm not about to spend money. So I'm unveiling the Valentine's Day projects in purple. Super excited about this project share here because it includes something I have not played with yet, and that is old products. So there are actually are new products, but there are old products also mixed with this. And I just had so much fun creating this. So, all right, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm putting together today. Whoops, okay, don't get excited. All these hearts just fell out on mistake. <laughs> so I was going to use these hearts, but I decided against it. However, I did not have an envelope to stash these in, so I just used this one. <laughs> so if you just got really excited, uh, hold that for a different card because that is what those hearts are going to be involved in. This project here is pink and green, some lattice. This is called lattice, right? And this adorable bunny that I had stamped out, you guys, and look, I gave it some grass to sit on. How cute, how cute is this little guy? love it so much. All right, you guys, these are the items that I use to create this card. And like I said, I do use product outside of Stampin' Up. So if you're only following me for current things and only for Stampin' Up, this is not the video for you. But if you don't care about me using, you know, other products and seeing other goodies, then stay tuned. Because again, I just buy things that I love. So this little piece here, I ended up using two cover plates. And these two cover plates are by Honeybee Stamps. These are two garden lattice plates. One gives you like a more filled in background, as you can see, and then you have the one that sits on top of it. And I think it looks, I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that. How pretty, right? So nice and stacked. I knew um, after I had this bunny colored from me just being excited about this stamp set that I wanted to like place that in like, I don't know, kind of like a garden scene. So I took this image I had off to the side, one of which I already colored um, that I had stamped from this Easter Bunny stamp set. This is current, if you care. Um, and when I got this, I was just like over the moon. I was like, I cannot wait to play with this. I can totally think of more than three cards to make. And this is my Valentine's version of this Easter Bunny. So I gave this little guy a color with my alcohol markers. I do have Copics, but you can use the Stampin' Blends. Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers, just like Copics. Copics, however, are refillable. And then nibs, you can replace once they become damaged. And I've had Copics for like over 10 years, y'all. Um, so I have not invested in Stampin' Blends because I already have them, basically. So anyhow, I gave this guy a nice little color and I gave him like a patch of grass to sit on because I knew after I had this lettuce piece and I knew I wanted to play with some Blushing Bride, I knew that I wanted to do like a half card um, type layout where there's detail at the bottom and then up top just kind of plain. So I ended up taking out my old quite curvy set. This is from a couple years ago. This is the bundle. When I first saw this set, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this row of leaves here. It's just so lush. I love the way it's drawn. It's so, it's detailed and coloring would just make it look phenomenal. And I love these birds too. So what did I do? I used it in this card because I thought that would be wonderful with this little bunny here. And no lies were told. My, my brain did not lie to me. <laughs> my mojo was like in line with where I wanted to be. Um... And as you can see here, I went ahead and I stamped that out and I did color it with alcohol markers. And, and like I said, I have the bundle because I did like the other dies that came in the set. So I used the die cut to cut this out. And as you can see here, I just did a bunch of coloring and just playing with different sizes and seeing what I wanted on my bunny here. So after some playing, I decided this was going to sit on top of my half. And my bunny was also going to sit on top of a nice layered piece of cardstock. And then I was trying to figure out a size because I wanted some leaves above my bunny, but I didn't want too much. So this nice little small piece here, I think will look phenomenal. And that's actually when I drew the grass in. I had the leaves up top and then I ended up drawing the patch of grass. And I'm like, you know what? I like that. It looks neat. I didn't bring the grass down like super far just because... 
I think the small patch is fine. And again, this is like my first go around with this card. And if I want in the future, I can make this die piece smaller, like condense it a little bit so there isn't as much space down here. But as of right now, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm not going to like overthink it. And someone's probably yelling, okay, what is that at the top? I ended up just heat embossing what a beautiful day. I ended up doing some masking on this awesome Blessings of Home stamp set. And the sentiment right here, what a beautiful day for love. I just went ahead and masked off this portion here with a piece of post-it note and I just stamped, stamped, and then I ended up going ahead and using some white embossing powder. And you can kind of see how that shines a little bit. So it just lifts off the paper just very softly. Um, and yeah, that is my card, you guys. So let me assemble this really quickly. I think I might want a heart somewhere just to kind of bring home Valentine's Day because honestly, when you first look at bunnies, you're not thinking about Valentine's Day. But at the same time, I'm trying not to like overthink anything. And you can see where I stamped initially here with my embossing powder, but I did not do a good job masking. So what do you do? You flip your cardstock over and you try again. And ta-da, I'm happy with that. All right, you guys, my card is complete. I am so ecstatic. This is, of course, my first draft. Um, like I say about all of my cards, I do plan on remaking them, but just to have something complete where I do love it is awesome. And as you know, as I put together the card, I might tweak or change something. In this case, what I ended up doing is adding the two hearts on either side of the bunny. I just I just wanted something that harkened like Valentine's Day and I wasn't getting that although I had this amazing blushing bride here um, I ended up taking out this really old punch by Martha Stewart there's a bit of dust on it so uh, I apologize <laughs> but as you can see I don't really use my punches a lot so I took this out this is like y'all I think this is over 10 years old but I punched out just once some blushing bride and then these little hearts I put on either side of the bunny and I'm like you know what that is perfect Initially, I did take out my country bouquet set thinking I was going to use these hearts here, but I just didn't feel like stamping. I had stamped enough and I was, you know, already coloring, doing these images here. And I was like, okay, I'm done. Let me figure out if I have something else. And I'm glad that I had this punch and these really small hearts available to add to my card because I think it is just the perfect little touch to make this card say happy Valentine's Day or have a beautiful Valentine's Day. Um, right, so this is the card completely constructed. I'm really happy that I've used cover plate dies now in my card series. So this here, the double lattice, and then me bringing in an oldie set, me bringing in an oldie punch, me bringing in this new set, doing some alcohol marker coloring. By the way, I only used three different Copic colors, so um, I don't think I'm some master colorer. Every time I color, I'm just trying to get better. And don't let coloring intimidate you. My bunny here was only done in two different shades, also for the brown and then two shades for the pink. Just have fun with it and stamp out the image multiple times and just practice because that's how I've gotten better at this hobby and I just encourage you guys to do the same also. And that's why I make YouTube videos, just to share what I've been learning um, because I don't really have crafty folks, you know, that are super close. So, okay, so back to the card. I did the heat embossing here in white for the What a Beautiful Day, so super swell. Just did some masking there, and I am super happy. Like, there's a lot here, but it's really not when you, like, break it down. And my card is just A2 in size. I'll probably stamp the Happy Valentine's Day on the inside here. Um unless I make this card and then I'll do that. But I'm, there's more than likely I'm gonna remake the card. I really do wanna keep a copy of all of my cards. Um, sometimes the picture does the job, but sometimes I also just want cards to like flip through and look at. So that covers my card, you guys. I hope you guys are inspired by seeing me play with some Stampin' Up, some Honey Bee Stamps, some old Martha Stewart. <laughs> I mean, everything is old. My Stampin' Up's kind of old, too. And my Honey Bee Stamps, I've owned these cover dies for like a, a couple years. 
but yeah i hope you guys just get in your stash and play and if you don't own these same and if you don't own these same stamp sets if you have something similar just use that too because that's what's great about us having our stash is just finding different ways to play with things all right so i hope you all are inspired and i hope you all do something crafty that makes you happy i will talk to you soon okay bye